Welcome to One Man's Movies. We're back in superhero territory again today. I thought I'd dress for the occasion. 2016 Suicide Squad was a shambolic and lacklustre affair. I only gave it two and a half stars out of five. Will James Gunn's soft reboot, The Suicide Squad, fare any better with me? This is suicide. Well, that's kind of our thing. I'm a superhero! That's my dad. I'm going to get you out of real life. I'm going to get you out of here alone. Amanda Walker, played by Viola Davis, is again assembling a ragtag mob of superhero villains, a dirty half dozen if you will, to undertake a dangerous mission on a foreign island for US interests. One of the teams is made up of Bloodsport, played by Idris Elba, The Peacemaker, John Senna, Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie, Ratcatcher 2, Daniela Melchior, Polka Dot Man, David Dastmalchian, and King Shark, voiced by the great Sylvester Stallone. Their mission is to capture Thinker, played by Peter Capaldi, to gain access to a secret headquarters where Project Starfish is underway. But the foreign government is very much out to stop them, and not everybody can be trusted. The trailer gushes that this is from the horribly beautiful mind of James Gunn. But for once, the marketeers ain't kidding. The film is stuffed full of inventive visual gags and really funny dialogue. We are very much at the full Ragnarok end of the superhero spectrum in terms of comedy value. Did it make me laugh? Yes, it did. Also, a shout out to James Gunn for his Mr. Polka Dot Man and particularly his mother. Absolutely hilarious. What you have heard of. Captain Jack Sparrow. Very shagadelic, baby. Yeah. <laughs> the Suicide Squad is horribly violent, such that I can't believe it got away with just a 15 certificate in the UK. But I thought it was a blast of a popcorn movie. Enormous fun. For that reason, I'm giving it four stars out of five, making it a... <laughs> See my full review at bobthemovieman.com.